small amount that means by the thyroid gland if we do not have iodine deficiency but we shall go back to this point in percent This is between 0.054, it's good, very good. Accept. It does have an effect on the hematopoiesis. We will discuss in the next semester. Accept again. This is a true statement about Hashimoto thyroiditis. Good. Very 
good. Okay, false statement, but uh, subacute, diuridities. Okay, there is no autoantibody but that can be the painful enlargement of the gland and it's possible due to the viral infection and other, I haven't mentioned that radioactive iodine uptake decreases. Okay, uh, hopefully this is the end. All right, and let's see. Okay, still something about the subclinical form. Deficiency is not going to cause hyperthyroidism. It's going to cause possible hypothyroidism or normal function. do have that radioactive iodine uptake decreases in subacute thyroiditis. Not, it's not characterized at the exothalmus. Exothalmus is only characteristic for a graves basidov disease. When we do have an autoimmune reaction in the retroborbital area, this is what's going to push out. Which parameter is not increased in graves disease. Thyroglobulin only increases when we do have a disruption or the gland acute disruption. As I mentioned, metastasis, for example, or acute inflammatory reactions. Cannot, cannot be. The iodine intake, when you do have too much iodine, the gland is going to regress. So let's be smaller, the size, not bigger one. The brassica is, looks like a cabbage that inhibits the iodine uptake or the uh, peroxidase activity. Okay. Characteristic changes. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, so this is very important. Yeah, this is Hungarian. It's very important that the three T four decreases by sparing the iodine by releasing more active form. That is a T three. So this MIG that means but. Okay, that was I think the last one. And congratulations to Isabel and the coffee, the cup.